Your time is up. Pungol, in the early 20th century, its large land size and location led it to be dubbed as a place associated with nature, due to its coastal and agricultural elements. Pungol housed Singapore's first zoo. The zoo showcased many exotic animals in its collection to supplement the region with more life. At that time, Pongo was depicted with a beautiful image of nature and recreation. However, it all took a dark turn as soon as World War II broke out. The beloved animals of the Pongo Zoo had to go. Unfortunately, Basapa could not relocate his animals in time, leading to the end of his legacy. As the animals were either killed or set free, in a matter of days, the once vibrant zoo had vanished into nothing more than a defense ground. Let's fast forward a few months. The British surrendered. Singapore fell into the hands of the Japanese, and the Suk Ching operation was carried out, where Chinese men aged eighteen to fifty were screened and killed if suspected of being anti-Japanese. Pungol Beach was one of the main sites of this operation. Further tarnishing the reputation of the region, bodies of the victims were either carelessly thrown into the sea or left on the beach, polluting the coastal area of Pungol. Human remains could even be found in the area years after the Japanese occupation had ended. Through World War Two, the tranquility of Pungol was disrupted, and the natural environment was severely affected as well. Birds were released into the wild. Innocent animals and humans were mercilessly shot to death. Corpses were littered around the beach. Here, change is evident, both in the natural environment of Singapore and in the mindset of the people. Before the war, Pungol was a nature-filled, serene place that people loved and sought for a day of rest and relaxation. However, As the series of events progressed, Pongo was increasingly associated with death and destruction. Instead, its once beautiful shores ended up being scattered with human remains, while the citizens' one and only zoo was destroyed. Pongo was no longer the place it once was before the war. For the historical actors, Pongo's significance was always centered around its isolated location, whether it was for recreation, defense. Or massacres, its location played a huge part in the events that occurred later on. The varying objectives of the different groups was also partly the reason for the change in the natural environment, since preserving Pongo's purity was seen as unimportant to the British and the Japanese.